Amylase the anti-diabetes digestive enzyme that boosts energy. It's a lesser known fact that a growing number of health problems can be linked to nutrient malabsorption due to a lack of digestive enzymes. 1. Amylase, protease and lipase are the three main and most vital enzymes your body utilizes to digest food. Amylase has the responsibility of helping your body process carbohydrates into simple sugars while protease breaks down protein and lipase is in charge of fat breakdown. Why should you care about amylase? The role of digestive enzymes is to act as catalysts in speeding up specific, life-preserving chemical reactions in the body. Essentially, digestive enzymes assist in breaking down larger molecules into more easily absorbed particles that the body can use to survive and thrive. Without proper levels of amylase and other digestive enzymes, it really is impossible to have your health be at its best. 5. Amylase Health Benefits what are some of the ways that amylase can benefit your health? Well, aside from the most key and central function to properly digest carbohydrates, it also holds a lot of other valuable health benefits that will probably surprise you. 1. Improved digestion Your mouth is the place where both the mechanical and chemical breakdown of your food occurs through the combined use of your teeth, jaws and saliva. Amylases are vital to your digestive process because they're needed to process any starches in your diet, which are a main source from which people derive glucose, the primary sugar molecule the body uses for energy. It's key that you combine your body's natural amylase producing ability with your natural ability to chew. Why is this important? Because if food is not properly broken down in the mouth then your body has more work to do in order to digest and extract nutrients and energy from whatever you eat. By chewing thoroughly, you give the amylase more time to process any carbs that you have consumed, and the more time amylase has to work the better and quicker your overall digestion will be. In addition, cells in your pancreas make another form of amylase called pancreatic amylase, which passes through a duct to reach your small intestine. Pancreatic amylase completes the digestion of carbohydrates. 2. More energy. I'm sure you know that food not only provides your body with nutrients, but it also provides it with the energy it needs to keep you going on a daily basis. Glucose is the primary sugar molecule that the body uses for energy, and while you never want to have high glucose levels, think diabetes, you want to obtain some glucose in your diet from healthy sources. The amylases in your body break starch down into two sugar units, maltose and isomaltose, and then other enzymes, called maltase and isomaltase, hydrolyze these two sugars into the individual monosaccharide glucose. 2. Foods that are high in starch include breads, grains, cereals, pasta, rice, beans, corn, potatoes and peas. If it wasn't for amylase, your body wouldn't be able to use foods like these so efficiently to fuel you. 3. Anti-diabetes A 2013 study published in the Journal of Clinical and Diagnostic Research was designed to determine the serum amylase, blood glucose and the serum lipid profile in 110 type 2 diabetes patients compared to healthy individuals of the same age and sex. The research shows that for the diabetic subjects wherever blood sugar levels were higher, serum amylase activity was found to be significantly lower. This finding was reflective of pancreas malfunction and speaks to the importance of a healthy pancreas producing healthy amounts of amylase. 3. Another study found that low serum amylase levels are associated with an increased risk of metabolic abnormalities like diabetes as well as metabolic syndrome. 4. Together, these studies show the ability of this digestive enzyme to maintain normal blood sugar levels and help treat or reverse diabetes symptoms. 4. Alternative Cancer Treatment When it comes to fighting cancer, people that choose to fight it holistically sometimes incorporate digestive enzymes into their natural cancer treatment plans. The Gonzalez Regimen, developed by Dr. Nicholas Gonzalez, is one holistic approach to cancer that combines prescribed diets nutritional supplements, coffee enemas and pancreatic enzymes. The regimen is aimed at detoxifying the body, correcting nervous system imbalances that might lead to impaired general health and supporting natural immune processes. The pancreatic enzymes are believed to be the primary agents within the regimen thought to have direct anti-cancer effects. 5. 
I previously talked about Gonzalez's program and Steve Jobs, his treatment plan, where it went wrong. Enzymes are also a key aspect of the Kelly Metabolic Protocol to Fight Cancer, developed by Dr. William Donald Kelly. Kelly, and famous embryologist John Beard before him, believed that in order to beat cancer you don't create a new method of defense that fails to mimic the human body. Rather, you should create a method of defense that acts just like the human body, and the human body uses pancreatic proteolytic enzymes in the natural fight against cancer. 6. Both of these treatments are controversial, but some conventional and well-respected cancer treatment centers even agree that patients suffering from cancer, especially pancreatic cancer, can benefit greatly from pancreatic enzymes. Having an insufficient amount of pancreatic enzymes is very common among people with pancreatic cancer, and when the pancreas does not produce enough enzymes to break down food, pancreatic enzyme products are needed. Doctors sometimes prescribe digestive enzymes, including pancreatic enzymes, to patients who have conditions that cause poor absorption. 7. Cancer itself and conventional cancer treatment are also known to interfere with production and flow of digestive enzymes and insulin, which is why patients should utilize natural approaches as well. 8. 5. Stress monitoring. Stress is by far one of the worst things in the world for your health, particularly chronic stress. Research is showing that amylase can be a very helpful and accurate marker of stress levels. One study looked at the whether or not the salivary enzyme alpha amylase could indicate stress reactive bodily changes. Researchers repeatedly measured salivary alpha amylase and salivary cortisol as well as plasma catecholamines and cardiovascular activity before, during, and after 30 young men underwent the TRIER Social Stress Test, TSST. Results indicated that salivary alpha amylase is sensitive to psychosocial stress and may be a very helpful additional parameter for the measurement of stress in humans. 9. What is amylase? Okay, we now know what amylase can do, but what is it exactly? By definition, it's the primary starch digesting enzyme secreted in the body. To be more specific, it digests carbohydrates, polysaccharides, into smaller disaccharide units eventually converting them into monosaccharides, such as glucose. Alpha amylase, A amylase, is the major form of amylase found in humans and other mammals and is mainly made the pancreas and salivary glands, but it's also produced by the small intestine mucosa, ovaries, placenta, liver and fallopian tubes. 10. The amylase secreted by the salivary glands kicks off that the enzymatic digestion of starches in the mouth as food is chewed and mixed with saliva. It might be surprising, but it's true that the breakdown of larger, more complex starches into simpler sugars actually starts in your mouth with simple chewing. This is why chewing food thoroughly is truly key to good digestion and optimal overall health. Amylase is part of a six-step digestive process that begins with chewing in the mouth and triggers the start of a domino effect and firing off mechanisms and secretions. 1. Salivary amylase released in the mouth is the first digestive enzyme to assist in breaking down food into its component molecules, and that process continues after food enters the stomach. 2. The parietal cells of the stomach are then triggered into releasing acids, pepsin and other enzymes including gastric amylase, and the process of degrading the partially digested food into chyme, a semifluid mass of partly digested food, begins. 3. The acid also has the effect of neutralizing the salivary amylase, allowing gastric amylase to take over. 4. After an hour or so, the chyme is propelled into the duodenum, upper small intestine, where the acidity acquired in the stomach triggers the release of the hormone secretin. 5. That, in turn, notifies the pancreas to release hormones, bicarbonate, bile and numerous pancreatic enzymes, of which the most relevant are lipase, trypsin, amylase and nuclease. 6. The bicarbonate changes the acidity of the chyme from acid to alkaline, which has the effect of not only allowing the enzymes to degrade food, but also bacteria not capable of surviving in the acid environment of the stomach to break it down further. At this point, if you don't have a deficit of digestive enzymes, then most of the work is done. However, for many people digestive enzyme supplementation is needed and helps this whole process take place as it should.